Five. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Glorious God. Hey, everyone. God bless you. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. It is hallelujah in the middle of the night. God is on this thing. Hallelujah. Well, I am Brandy, and I am back, and I am live to read the Word of God with you this evening, this night. And I, I've been uh, reading Psalms, the book of Psalms, um, in Psalm 78. Uh, the other night I read Psalm 78, 1 through 25. And so tonight we're going to do 26 up until 47. And we, I may go a little bit further, but we'll see. We'll see how God does it. I pray all is doing well this, this morning. I pray all is, hallelujah, blessed before the Lord. I'm praying that His glory is up. Feeling this earth, hallelujah, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, yes, we thank God for the glory of God filling this earth, I just pray that all is doing well, I pray that you give your life over to Christ Jesus, get saved, get born again, come on y'all, it's the time, it's the perfect time to do it, hallelujah, it's the perfect time to get saved and filled with the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, and baptized in Holy Spirit and fire with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Being born again, let's go, we can do it. And being baptized in the name of Jesus. Water baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. We love you guys. We love God. We love Him. And I love you guys. And He's in love with you. So let's get started. Come on. Here we go. We have uh, verse 26 of Psalm 78. Let's get started. It says here, He calls an east wind. Hallelujah. And the he in this particular text is King Jesus. He caused an east wind to blow in the heavens. Oh, God, thank you. Let your east wind blow in the heavens. And by his power, glory to God, brought the south wind. Brought in the south wind, it says. Verse 27, it says here, he also rained meat on them like the dust. Hallelujah. Feathered the fowl. Like the sand of the sea. Hallelujah. If you ever thought about God as creator, this is what his word is saying. He is the creator of all of this. He's the creator of everything you see. Yeah, he used man to create things, but he is ultimately the creator of it all. And we thank him for that. Verse 28, it says, he let them fall in the midst of their camp. All around their dwellings. Oh God, we thank God. We thank God. Hallelujah. Verse 29, it says, So they ate and were filled, for he gave them their own desires. Hallelujah. This is going back into the children of Israel from uh, a couple of days ago when I did uh, 1 through 25 in uh, Psalm 78. God gave them their fill. They, went, they complained to God earlier on in the text. They complained to God in Exodus. And God said he gave them, he gave them their fill. He blessed them. He, he rained down manna. He rained down, hallelujah, quail from heaven. Hey. Verse 30, it says, they were not deprived. There's things God has done for us. We didn't. We have not recognized it. And he said we are not deprived. Hallelujah. He didn't de deprive us of our cravings. Glory to God. But while their food was still, come on, while that blessing was still in their mouths, the wrath of God came against them. Oh God, we got to get grateful. We got to be thankful for God, for him continuously blessing us, giving us the desires of our heart. Hallelujah. We can't get stubborn and, and, and prideful and forgetting the blessings that he gave us. This is what this, 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 is, what this is saying. While the food was still in our mouths, while the, the blessing was still in our hands, while the blessing was still upon us, because of pride, because of complaining, because we didn't, we 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 weren't grateful for what He did for us, right? Hallelujah! The wrath was in, the wrath of God came on them and slew the stoutest, the strongest of them. Oh God! And struck down the choice men of Israel. Verse twenty-two. In spite of this, they still sinned. Despite of all of that, oh God. That pride, pride, guys, will get us in the wrong direction. Because of Jesus, Father God showed, hallelujah, hallelujah, that he is God, that he's sovereign, and he wants us in our right standing. And when he dug, when he got angry about a certain thing, about the complaining, about not having the grateful, not being grateful for what he's done for us, they still sin. 
after he sent, hallelujah, that anger down on you. And did, they did not believe it says. They sinned and, and, and did not believe his wondrous works. Father God, I'll repent if I, didn't, if I have not received the things that you've done for me. I'll repent, Father God. Because you guys, you know what? We can think we're going the right way in God. We, and we are totally wrong. So we constantly have to be before him. Lord, please show me your way. Lord, please allow me to be aligned with your Holy Spirit. Please, oh God, don't let me go astray. Huh? We always have to be in that position. Because I'm telling you, it's the way that we think. We think we're doing the right thing, but it leads unto death. That's the word of God. So we have to be humble enough to say, Father God, I, 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 may not, I don't have it right right here. I need you to direct me. I need you to guide me. Because I don't want to slip up in, a, in this manner thinking I'm right and I'm all, all the way wrong. Come on. And we can do it because we're human. This is, it's, it's, it's in our makeup. But in his makeup is the, the guidance and the direction that we should go. He knows the way that we should take. Father God knows it. His spirit knows the way that we should take. Yeah, yeah. Because he's always constantly thinking of great things about us. How to prosper us. How to give to us. How to bless us. Yeah, not that he don't think evil of us. God is not sitting around on his throne thinking of evil things about his people. Hallelujah. He has the character to bless. He has the character to, to give glory, to give joy, to give mercy, to give grace, to give favor. That's in his character. But if we continue, glory to God, if we continue in this manner, he also has another character. Because he's a holy father. He has another character. So, and sovereignty shows up. His sovereignty shows up. His supreme being, his supreme God shows up. Because he's the creator. He created all of it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he has another side too. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And he has a righteous side. He has a right to get angry. He has a right to have wrath. Hallelujah. Like a father has a right to be angry with his child, but with his child going out in the world acting up. Yeah. Yeah. The Holy Father has a right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Verse 33 says, Therefore their days he consumed uh oh with futility. Oh God. God, please allow our days. See, that's another thing. We think we're doing something right, and those are, what we're doing could be futile before God. We think we're in the right center with God with all this with all this stuff that we consume in our lives. And it could be totally wrong, totally opposite. That's that's this is a op, this is an observation of a, of a, a reprobate mind. It's futile efforts. Futile. Just make it, it's, it's nothing before God. And some of the things that we're doing is nothing before Him. So that's another reason why we should constantly, Father, let your word be a lamp unto my feet. Hallelujah. And a light to my pathway. Let me be in right standing with you. Let my feet be ordered. My footsteps be ordered. Hallelujah by you, God. Because I don't want to do anything futile. I don't want to do anything like procrastination or, or slothfulness or stagnation. I don't want to do anything that's lazy. I don't want to do anything that's slow. Hallelujah. I want to be moving with Jesus. I want to be moving with Holy Spirit. Yeah, aligned with His, His will for our lives. Glory to God. We have to, con this is a constant work. This is a constant seeking God. This ain't a, one day we seek Him. And I'm, I'm talking to myself, y'all, right? Listen, don't even, if it ain't for you, it ain't for you. I'm talking to me right now. This is a constant seeking God. It's a constant making sure I'm on the right way. I'm going the right way. It's a constant, hallelujah, wanting to be aligned with God. What am my heart to bow to Jesus? What am my soul to bow to Jesus? What am I, hallelujah, my soul didn't even trust him. Hallelujah. A lot of times, we, the reason why we're not seeing a lot of uh, things occur in our lives is because our soul is not right before God. Yes, we have a spirit man, but God is saying that he wants our soul in the right posture with him. I know there's a lot of people that don't believe that. And hallelujah, we'll preach against that. But God says that our soul needs to be saved. That's that inward stuff, y'all. Hallelujah. The spirit, yeah, it gets saved too. But that soul has to be right before God. Our soul has to be right. He wouldn't, if it wasn't so, he wouldn't put it in his word. He wouldn't put it in his word that he wants to be the salvation of our soul. If he was just only talking about the spirit man being saved, 
Hallelujah. Lord. Let's look at this thing. If God only wanted the spirit man to be saved, he would never put it in his, his word, I am the salvation of your soul, that he desires our soul to trust him, that he desires our soul to bow to him. That's that will. Our will must bow to God. That's what Jesus was praying in the, in the Garden of Gethsemane. Not my will, Father God. That's not my soul, God. Not my soul. But your will be done. Your will overtakes the soulish part of me. Come on, that's so our soul has to submit to God. And a lot of, a lot of people in Christendom, in the, in the body of Christ, they do not want to submit their soul to God. They don't, they don't even believe it's a, a thing. You want to see the move of God? Submit your soul. Randy Nicole. Me. If I want to see the move of God, I must submit my soul to Christ Jesus. I ain't telling nobody what to do. Hallelujah. Even if I'm not telling nobody what to do, it's still it's still at a chase cell. So it's not me. I'm just I'm just speaking what the Lord is saying. I'm speaking it through his word. I decrease me. I decrease so the Lord can increase. He's an increaser. Glory to God. And I humble myself before the hand of the mighty hand of the Lord. In Jesus' name. So let's finish this thing off. Hallelujah. I, Lord, the Lord can move me. He be moving me all around, y'all. <laughs> That's how good he is. He loves us. He is in love with us. Hallelujah. He doesn't want the enemy stealing our soul. He doesn't want the enemy taking our soul into a, a, a burning hell. Come on. I'm going to just be real. And I know people don't want to hear about hell. Hell is a real place. Hallelujah. It's a real place. Glory to God. Just like evil is real, good is real. Hell is real. Heaven is real. Come on. Oh, I'm just going to be honest with you. I can't, I can't sugarcoat it. And trust me, I'm not trying to, try to tell you what to do. But I'm just telling you the truth. Come on in the name of Jesus. Verse 33. Therefore, their days were consumed with it. What does it say? Futility. And their years in fear. Glory to God. When they got out of, uh, out of the place with God, these uh, enemies were coming up against the children of Israel. The enemies were coming up. Hallelujah gets these people of God. Because they got out of place with God. Hallelujah. It's like he lifted his hand off of them. Before we read it, it, his glory was with them all day. The fire by night. The cloud of, hallelujah, by day. That's his presence. He lifted his presence off of them and now they live in a place of fear because they didn't trust him anymore. They, didn't, they moved away from him. They started falling after other gods. Putting the other gods and other things before, before the Holy Spirit. Before the Holy God. And the righteous God, right? So in verse 34, it says, when he slew them, then they sought him. Come on. Though you slay me, yet will I trust you. Come on, Job. Though you slay me, then I'll start trusting you. Uh -uh. Listen, I'm going to tell you this. We got to trust God in all of it. So we don't have to get the slay. <laughs> we don't have to. But, even so, but you know what? Even sometimes God has sent certain things to, us to, tr to test us, to, to build up our faith in him. Right? So we, we, even in that, even in the testing, even when he's building us, building our character, hallelujah, when he's building up our, our most holy faith, we still got to trust him. We still got to put our, hallelujah, trust in him and know that he's going to get us through this thing. Hallelujah. Then, hallelujah. Then they saw him. Uh, and they, they returned and sought him earnestly. Come on. Listen, I'm telling you, when sometimes that thing get too bad, we got to... We got to turn, y'all. Turn away from that evil thing. Turn away from that wicked thing. And seek God. Earnestly seek God. Come on. <laughs> Verse 35, it says, Then they remember. Oh, when that thing, that thing get hot and heavy, then you remember that God was their rock. Now we remember that God, he's been our rock all the time. The whole time he was our rock. Glory to God. Even when we was in rebellion, he's been our rock. Come on, let's remember now, excuse me. Let's remember now what the good things he's done. Let's remember him. Come on. And it says, and the Redeemer, they remember that thing. They remember how he redeemed them out of that bondage. Nevertheless, they flattered him with their mouth. Nevertheless, all that crying out, all that remembering, all it was doing was it, it was just flattering him with their mouths. Not here. It wasn't from here. It wasn't from their soul, their spirit, man. Their, their soul didn't cry out. It was just their lips that cried out. Meaning their heart was not near God. Their heart wasn't with God. Oh, my God. 
Oh my God, Father God, draw our hearts to you. That when we speak, oh God, when we cry out to you, Father, that it's real, that it's sure, that it's totally, totally to you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that let our hearts be towards you, God. Not just our lips, our mind, and our thinking. Oh my God. Oh God, help us today. And they lie. Here it is. And they lie to him. When we just talking with our lips, we're lying to God. When our heart is not there, y'all, we're lying. Oh God. They lied with their tongue. 37 it says, and their heart was not, here we go, their heart was not steadfast with him, nor, hallelujah, nor were they, they, they faithful in his covenant. Oh God, we thank you for your promise, oh God, let us be faithful in the promises that you made to us. Let us be faithful in the covenants that you made with us, oh God. We thank Jesus for the new covenant. Jesus Christ is the new covenant. We thank you for that. Let us be, uh, 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 let us, Hallelujah. Be faithful to Jesus Christ. Let us be faithful to the new covenant. Hallelujah. Uh, 38 it says, But he, being full of compassion, here he is again. Come on, y'all. Who, who knows of a God or a, 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 a being that'll let you just do all this stuff and uh, have compassion over compassion over compassion over compassion? That's what grace is, y'all. That's grace. God has given us grace to get this thing right. Even when, our, when we lie into him, that we, we're we trying to cry out, but it's still a, like a lie, because our heart's not there. Yet again, he says, it says, he had full compassion and forgave their iniquity. God says he's going to forgive our iniquity, but let's, let's do it the right way. Let's cry out for real. Let's ask God for real to come into our hearts. Let's ask him for real. Hallelujah. Not with our lips. Hallelujah. I don't want to, I don't, I don't, I'm talking about, listen y'all, I'm talking about me. Glory to God, and God just had me talking about me on live. That's all it is. I'm not trying to say I'm, I'm hallelujah, better than anybody. But listen, let's have our hearts for real before God. Let's do it for real. Me, Brandy, do it for real. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when he has compassion on me, he can just pour out on me, pour out his blessings on me. He forgave their iniquity and did not destroy them. Oh, God, I thank you for your mercy and grace in this hour. I thank God. Listen, I'll tell you, y'all, we've been doing some stuff. God could have really done some stuff long time ago, way before COVID. Ha! Ah, my God, I thank you for mercy. I thank you for favor. I thank you, oh, God, for hallelujah, grace. You've given us grace to get this thing right. He's giving us, I'm like, come on, y'all. We can't keep playing with grace, I'm telling you. Hallelujah. Yes, many a time. Here it is, right? Guys, I promise you, I don't read this stuff before. This is what this says. Here. Many a time, he turned his anger away. Many a time, he could have done something. He could have took, he could have took us out. Come on. This is stuff written before we even got to this earth realm. This is prophesied. This is prophecy here. Many a time, he turned his anger away from us and did not strip, uh, stir up. He didn't stir up his, his wrath against us. Oh, God, hallelujah. Moses had to intercede. I'm telling you guys, back, I think it's Exodus. Moses had to intercede because God was like, I am, I cannot believe I made, I created this. I think it was, yeah, yeah, Moses and, and, and God. And, Jesus, and Moses had to say, listen, God, you, come on. You can't destroy. You can't go back on your word now. Huh? Moses interceded because God was ready. He was on this thing because the people were building, building golden calves. And I just, I just opened the Red Sea for you. You crying out. Come on. And I hear you. And I just, I dismantle your enemy totally. I'm feeding you every day. My presence is with you every day. Huh? <laughs> I'm with you. And you still want to put a God before me, another God before me. Many a day, God, a day. Many a time he's turned his wrath away from us. We got all kind of golden calves. Hallelujah, before God. But he has grace and mercy. Verse 39, it says, For he remembered that they were but, come on y'all, but flesh. We got 
gotta we gotta stop and wake up and realize who we're dealing with and who's dealing with us. He remembers how he created us. We thank God that he remembers that hallelujah. We are flesh. Yeah, we're made in his image. Spirit and flesh. Glory to God. We're made in the image of God. But he remembered. Ah, yes, I thank you, God, for remembering who we are, how you made us. But he still wants us to get this thing right. He still wants to get wants us to turn to him and stop building these golden calves before him. And be thankful for what he's done for us. A breath, come on, that passes away and does not come again. That's what he remembered us as. A breath that passes away and does not come again. We gotta give, we gotta give our lives over to Christ Jesus. Because I listen, I, I'm in, I want eternity in Jesus. Hallelujah. Verse 40 it says, How often they provoked him. In the wilderness. How often did the, the, the children of Israel provoke God in the in the wilderness? How are we provoking God today? And this and they was provoking him before Jesus Christ came upon the scene. Glory to God. How are we provoking God today? Let's get this thing right, y'all. And grieved him. They grieved him in that desert. Yes, again and again, they tempted God and limited the Holy One of Israel. They limited God. Hallelujah. Some of us, we are limiting the hand of God. Excuse me. They did not, in 42 it says, they did not remember his power. Oh God, let us remember your power and your glory. Let us remember you. The day when he redeemed them from the enemy. They don't remember that. We don't remember that. The day that God pulled us out of the pit. We don't remember the day that God delivered us from death. We don't remember that. When we're complaining and not thankful for the things that he's blessed us to have. The day when he redeemed them from the enemy. When he worked his signs in Egypt. And his wonders in the field of Zoan. That turned their rivers into blood. And the streams, hallelujah, that they could not drink. He sent swarms and uh, flies up among them. This is the, hallelujah. Come on, these are the plagues here. Hallelujah. We got to remember what God has brought us out of. Hallelujah. Devoured them. He put the swarming flies among them that devoured them and the frogs which destroyed them. He also gave their crops over to caterpillars. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, guys. We got to get in this thing. We got to repent. Glory to God. God, I'm telling y'all. He destroyed their vines with hail and their sycamore trees with frost. My God. Verse uh, 48, he says, he also gave up their cattle to the hail, to the hail that came down out of that sky. Hallelujah. And their flocks to fury, fury, uh, fury lightning, fiery lightning, I'm sorry, and their flocks to fiery lightning. Oh God, let's get this thing. He cast on them the fierceness of his anger, wrath and indignation and trouble by sending angels of destruction. Destruction works on both sides, y'all. Hallelujah. The enemy can, can send it and God can definitely send it. Oh God. He sent destruction among them. Verse 50 says, He made a path for his anger. He did not spare their soul from, the, from death, but gave their life over to, to the plague. I don't want to be an enemy of God. I do not want to be an enemy of God. Lord, please put me in the right standing with you. Hallelujah. Put me in the right standing, upright. Let me walk upright with you, God. Hallelujah. Let me think right. Let me desire things right. Let me desire you right, God. In Jesus' name, ex hallelujah, vet my motives, God. Look at my heart, oh God. Just deliver me, oh God. Hallelujah, from the darkness of hallelujah that's around me. And let me walk in your, in your good pleasure. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And he said in 51, and destroyed all the firstborn of Egypt. 
This is an exodus, y'all. This is what, hallelujah, this is going down with the things that, that happened with, in, in, in Exodus when the children of Israel cried out to God to get out of bondage and slavery, and he gets them out, and this is what happened here. Hallelujah. Bless God. Yes, God is good. But he made his own people go forth like sheep and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. Yes, so we thank God for his leadership. He's a wonderful leader. He's a wonderful provider. The Lord is my shepherd. Hallelujah. I shall not want. He leaded us. He led us. He leads his people like a flock, like a sheep. And he guides us. He says he guides them on safely. He's our leader. He's our guider. He's, that's, what, that's why I want to be in right standing with God. So he can lead me. Hallelujah. He leads us safely so that they do not fear. So we do not fear. Let God lead you so you don't have fear in your heart. But the sea overwhelmed their enemies. And he brought them to his holy border. Yes. God has a place for us. He wants to lead us to his holiness. I'm going to read, this is my last, this is my last verse, uh, and it's uh, Psalm 78, 54. He brought them to his holy borders, the mountain. Come on, let's go up. Let's go up in Jesus. The mountain which his right hand had acquired. The place of going up in God. Yes, which his right hand has acquired, acquired for us. Hallelujah. Let's go up in Jesus Christ. Let's think of things that are above. Hallelujah. Not here on this earth. Let's think of things that have a good report. Glory to God. Yes, let's go up in Jesus Christ. Let's go up. We're not standing in the, in the low level thinking. We're not staying there. We're not staying in a lying spirit. We're not staying in jealousy. We're not staying in envy. We're not staying that we're going up. God has brought us out of this negative thinking. Hallelujah. And he has something for our, for our enemy. But we got to get in good. We got to get in line with him. Hallelujah. To receive. Glory to God. The benefits that God. God said he, he loves us up daily with benefits. Come on. I want my benefits. Come on, Jesus. Lord, I want my benefits, God. Please align me right. Align me with you, God. So I can get my benefits. So I can be led by him. He got a holy border for me. I want to be in a holy place with him. I want to go up, meaning I want my mind to go up with Christ. I want my thinking to be, hallelujah, where he is. I want Jesus to lay his head on me. I want his, hallelujah, I want him to lay his head. Come on. I want, my, I want the mind of Christ. That's what I mean by going up, having the mind of Christ. Yeah. That's a place, y'all. That's a place to have the mind of Christ. Let this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. That's a place. I want that place. Like Jehovah Jireh is a place. Having the mind of Christ is a place. Having the mind of Jesus Christ is a place. And I want that place in my life. Glory be to God. We want that place. Ha! Hallelujah. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's a place in God. That's going up in God. Hallelujah. And I want that. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, I want that place in Jesus. Where he can lay his head on me. Oh, God. Come on, God. In the name of Jesus. God. Hey, I want to live in holiness. I want to walk in holiness. Guys, I am in love with y'all. I love Jesus. And he is actually the one that's really in love with y'all. <laughs> I love you. But he is actually in love with you. But I love y'all too. I'm in love with you too. Because I want... What I love the most about people is that we have souls. Hallelujah. What I love the most about us all is that I want our souls to be saved. I want our souls to enter the kingdom of God. I want our souls. Hallelujah. Yeah. To experience the glory of God. Hallelujah. Listen, there's another place to go. Yes. Come on. Look, we've mastered here. Come on. Yes. We're in this world, but we're not of this world. Lord, you mastered this place. But guess what? There's another place that God wants you to do. Hallelujah. So go there with him. God, you said, said he, he prepared the place. Glory to God. John, that's John 14. I prepare a place. Hey. <laughs> My God, here we go, God. I prepare a place, he said. Where he 
said it. And if it wasn't so, hey, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Be believe in me. You who believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house, come on, y'all, are many mansions. Glory to God, there's many characters of God. There many, there's many places in God. Hallelujah. You can also be the mansion. Come on, this thing, hallelujah, the, the Bible is vast. In my Father's house, there are many mansions. That's you and me. And there's various characteristics of God. Come on. There's different rooms of God. Come on. There's different places in God. If it were not so, come on. I would have told you. Come on, this is Jesus talking red letters here. Red letters, red letters. Right here, John. I don't know if you can see it. John, come on. John 14, red letters. He's talking. If it wasn't so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Come on. God is preparing a place for us. That means there's a, a somewhere to go. We master here. Get to her, blah, blah, blah. Trying to destroy it, actually. Jesus said, I go to prepare a place. Where's the place? In Tacabaya. Holy God, I will come again, he says, and receive you to myself. I go, Jesus is talking, I go to prepare a place. I will come again and receive you to myself. All right, all right. There's another place, y'all. I will come again. Uh -huh. And where I go, you know. And the way, you know. Thomas said to him, what did Thomas say to him? Lord, don't, do, we do not know where you are going. And how can we know the way? And what did Jesus say? I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. I am, he's the way. He's the way to the, this prepared place, y'all. No one comes to the Father except through me, except through the way, except through the truth, except through, come on, y'all, the light, the life of God, the life of Jesus. Hallelujah. We got to go through his way. We got to go through his truth. We got to go through his life. That he gave up for us. Yay, God. He's so good. This is hallelujah. If you have known me, this is Jesus talking. If you knew me, if you know me, Jesus, Jesus saying this, you would have known my father also. And from now on, you know him and have seen him. Because you've seen me, because you've known me. This is what Jesus is telling his disciples. You know the Father, and you, hallelujah, and you've seen the Father. Come on. Hallelujah. Philip said to him, Lord, show us, the, excuse me, show us the Father. And it is sufficient for us. Ah, it is sufficient for us to see the Father. Show us the Father. Show us him, Father Jesus. Show us the Father. Please, come on. It's sufficient. We, listen, we're ready. Jesus said to them, Ha, have I been with you so long? Show us the Father. It's sufficient for us, Jesus. He said, uh -huh. have I been with you so long? And yet, uh -huh, yet, you, uh -huh, yet you have not known me. Question mark. Philip asked him, show us the Father. Have, Jesus said, have I, have, have I been with you so long and you still don't know who I am? I'll paraphrase that part. He who has seen me, come on. He who has seen me, this is the Bible, this is John 14, verse 9. He who has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, this is Jesus again, question mark, how can you say, show us the Father? 
question mark. Do you not believe that I am? Come on, I am that I am. In the Father. And the Father in me. Come on. The words that I speak to you. I do not speak on my own authority. But the Father who dwells in me does the works. Come on, y'all. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me. Or else, believe me, for the sake of the works themselves. Come on. If you don't, if you can't believe me that, that the Father's in me and I'm in Him, believe, believe in me because of the, what you've seen me do. Glory to God. Jesus minimized it. He just, listen, he, he just wants you to believe in Him. Believe in Him because of the works. You can't believe that I'm the Father and the Father's in me. I'm dwelling in the Father, but, you know. And when you see me, you see the Father. Believe. This is you talking to the disciples. Believe by what you see me do. Believe all the people I've healed. Believe about the hallelujah from the people I've raised from the dead. Believe from the multitude of people that are fed. Glory to God. And the revivals that took out at, across the, this region when I, I came into this earth realm. Believe me because of that. Well, let me see. Well, I'm going to read one more verse. Verse. Uh, 12 and 14, it says, most, uh, most assuredly, I say unto you, verily, verily, I say unto you, he who believes in me, this is Jesus talking again, the works that I do, he will do also. The works that Jesus Christ has done, when we believe in him, oh God, will be the works that we do also. Guess what he said? Not just those works, but he, we will do greater works than these. He shall do. We shall do. Because I go to my father. Jesus said he going to the father. And he is at the right hand of the father right now. And, what's, and whatever you ask in my name. Whatever we ask in Jesus Christ's name. And we got to believe it too. When we ask, we got to believe it. When we ask in his name, we got to believe that thing. Hallelujah. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do it. That I will do. That the Father may be glorified. I'm going to do it because I want the Father to get glory. Glory in the Son. Hallelujah. S-O-N capital S. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it, Jesus said. Hallelujah. If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love him, keep what we need to keep God's commandments. In Jesus' name, that was verse 15 of John 14. I'm out of here, guys. I've been on here longer than I expected. But that's just the glory of God. And I just love you. Please, Lord, you guys, get in the word of God. Bless the Lord. Get saved. Get filled with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. When you know Jesus Christ, you know the Father. That's what his word says from John 14 all the way to 15. And it says a lot more in there, but I didn't, like, listen, I didn't want to keep going. Because we got a we got a work to do. Glory to God. We have a work to do. We have to get attached to this word. That's our work. We got an assignment. Glory to God. Because if we get the word, we know God. We know Jesus Christ, who is the word. John 1. In the beginning. Come on. We got to get that word. Hallelujah. Because we are good ground. And the word is the seed. So I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to let y'all chew on that. May God bless you. May God, hallelujah, continue to shine upon your life. And I love you guys. Have a great night, great morning, great day at work, great, just a great day. I love you. I'm cutting these cameras off. So let me see. I got one here, one there. Let me go here first. I love you. Bye-bye.